Hey, January, February, March, that's your first quarter of your music business. What are you going to do for your second quarter of music business? And how do you really keep consistency and momentum going so you hit that second quarter with a big old thrust? Let's get into it. Tip of the day. One of the most helpful things for me that I've like I've ever used in my music career or in any success I've ever had is tracking everything. OK, um, a lot of the times we think like, oh, I got to track what water I drink and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. You need to track the KPIs, the key performance indicators in your music business. All right. What pays your bills every month? Is it your mechanical royalties you get from CD Baby? Is it your BMI checks that you get quarterly? What is it? Is it sync licensing fees that you're getting, uh, you know, monthly? You know, what what is the, your number one source? What's your key performance indicator? What is the thing you have to make sure that keeps going up and never goes down or you're not going to be eating or you're not going to be able to pay your rent, etc. That's the first thing I would look at, you know, because I, I man, I'll tell you when I started getting into being an entrepreneur, uh, like starting my own thing. I'm going to go do voiceover. I did voiceover for Pandora radio, something maybe you guys don't know, but, um, I, I signed contracts with them. It would be like a 90 day contract and then turned into a year contract. Then it turned into a two year contract. And I worked with them for, uh, you know, over six, seven years. And I started to rely on that income. It ended up being like an extra, you know, anywhere from 1500 to $3,000 a month in income just from doing voiceovers from home. Right. And that's something I was like, oh yeah, wow, this is great. You know, I got this income source, but I never really tracked it. And I think that was a big fail on my part because once the contracts finally ended and they were like, well, hey, we're not going to renew with you. I was like, yeah, that's fine. I'm busy. Right. But that first month, two months, three months, I was like, yo, I didn't realize like I was making $2,800 on average with those guys. Like, how do I make up for $2,800 in income? You know, so, so I started tracking, I started getting really religious about tracking everything. And, um, you know, this is really a big tip that I think everyone needs to follow a lot more. Like you're trying to lose weight. You got to track your calories. You got to track your exercises. You got to track what you put in your mouth, how much sleep you're getting, how much water you're intaking. You should be tracking those things, those key performance things, right? How many, uh, you know, miles you're running a day. All that stuff. Like, why is that not tracked? It, it, you can't improve what you don't know. If you don't know where you're at right now, you can never improve. I promise you that. It's just science. It's art. It's nature. It's everything. It's God. It's the universe. There's something about it. If you don't know where you're at, you might be delusional. You might think you're this number one artist and you've been botting your Spotify plays and all that shit. You're not. You're delusional. You're not tracking the right stuff. You're not making any money from those botted streams. You know, you're not, you're not actually where you should be or you pretend to be right. So this is a really important part of tracking. It's like understanding what are the performance, what are the key performance indicators and how do you grow those things? Massive, right? So that's how you're going to build this momentum track, track, track. And hopefully I've been really clear with this tip of the day, because that's all I want to focus on. What are you tracking? What are you not tracking? And then realize the things that you track the most, the, the goals you write down every day, uh, the, the calories you track, the, um, you know, expenses you track, uh, the numbers on your credit card, you know, the fees, all that stuff, whatever you're tracking, you can, I can guarantee it's improving and anything you're not tracking, I can guarantee you have no idea what's going on. And it's probably going into the shitter, just like your music career will be if you don't start tracking. All right. So track everything. That's my tip of the day. Now, if you want any help with any of this stuff, you really want to like, hey, I want to dial in tracking and I want, I want, I want to figure this out and you need some mentoring, then you could click the link in the description here and you can join the private mentoring group that I've put together. This is a, this is a mentoring group that I've made for music professionals or people that want to be music professionals that need mentoring. They need access to me, right? They need uh, zoom calls. They need to, they need questions answered. It's very affordable. So grab that and uh, appreciate you like comment. Let me know what you're tracking, what you're not tracking and what you're going to track for quarter two of your music business and let's grow it.